Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Eric Marks here with another After Effects tutorial. Um, I haven't made a tutorial in a while now. I'm sorry for that. I've just been really busy <clears throat> with uh, getting a wedding um, planned and, and uh, helping my fiance, um, you know, with a bunch of last minute wedding stuff. I'm getting married in two weeks, so it's been kind of crazy. Um, so I found a little bit of free time here to do a tutorial on matte painting. If you don't know what matte painting is, um, I suggest you go Google search it real quick um, so that we don't have to sit here you know, and waste 10 minutes explaining it to someone who is already ready to kind of jump right in and edit. So just a, a quick explanation. Um, I found this image on uh, Google Images just searching for um, Harry Potter Castle. And if you are a Harry Potter fan, you'll know that that's Hogwarts Castle from Harry Potter. Um, basically, matte painting is just dropping... Um, stock footage or another scene or integrating fake footage into your real footage and making it look good. So what I'm going to be doing is putting this castle in my backyard basically. I shot some footage in my backyard and I'm going to kind of make this look real uh, quickly, you know, um, so that we can fit this all on YouTube and, and I'll kind of do it a quick way. Um, normally I would spend probably a couple hours making, you know, everything look, look perfect the way the sun is, you know, directionalizing the shadows and all that kind of stuff. But uh, today we're just going to do it quick uh, for the sake of time, and uh, you can kind of you know spice it up uh, you know uh, with your style of editing and kind of the techniques that you likes to uh, <clears throat> you like to use. But excuse me here, I'm probably going to be coughing frequently during this because I'm trying to get over uh, a cold that I had a couple weeks ago, and this cough just will not go away. So I apologize um, beforehand for that. So let's go ahead, uh, as always, <clears throat> and uh, uh, open up your After Effects. Um, I use After Effects CS5. Um, you can use CS4 for this tutorial as well, and I believe CS3 will work, um, except for the motion tracking part, um, of the tutorial, which I'll explain in a second. So I'm going to take my base footage here and drop it into a new composition, and this is just me being a complete and total idiot, uh, with a, a wand that I bought in Universal Studios at that, you know, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So, somewhere around here I do a little, see a little a wand, spell, whatever the heck I'm doing, I don't really know. Um, <clears throat> and I'm basically wanting to, you know, put the Hogwarts castle somewhere in this region um, where I'm, you know, kind of casting the spell. So let me kind of show you how to do that. So here is obviously the image of Hogwarts that we got from Google. And uh, you'll notice one thing first off, it's, it's just a boxed image because this dumb, you know, blue sky here is, uh, is not... Um, excuse me, <clears throat> is not matching our sky in the footage at all. It's it's kind of too blue. So how do we fix that? Um, you can go to uh, make sure you know you have the the castle layer selected. You can go to effect, keying, color key. Click on this little pin dropper. Select the color of the sky, and increase the color tolerance. And voila, a little bit of Harry Potter magic yourself. There you go. You're kind of um, uh, you know, making the sky disappear and therefore blending it in uh, with our sky. So <clears throat> you can also, you know, uh, feather the edges a little bit. I mean, you can, you know, you, you could spend a long time doing all this, but I'm just going to do this very quickly uh, again for the sake of time. But you could spend a long time, you know, getting it perfect for the way you like it. Um, so here you go. Okay. <clears throat> so here's the castle. Uh, it's in the scene. I'm going to shrink it a little bit. And I'm just going to kind of show you, so what if, you know, if I say, you know, put the castle right here. Uh, let's see what would happen. Okay. Obviously, you see the first problem is it is um, not moving in, uh, you know, in sync with the camera motion. The motion of the camera is definitely screwing this shot up, and it makes the Google image look very fake and not at all um, blending into the scene. So how do we fix that? Well, I'm going to show you. If you have After Effects... You also have a software called Mocha. Open up Mocha. <clears throat> Go and import your footage. Choose your file. In this case, you'll be choosing the same file um, that you're using in After Effects, <clears throat> the, uh, the base footage that I shot in my backyard. Um, going to be... Make sure you match the settings in After Effects, you know, your frame rate and your aspect ratio, all that stuff. Um, and that was the... You want to overwrite... Yes, okay. Um, so, here's the footage that's in After Effects right now. Me, again, just being an idiot with a wand. 
So we're going to scroll ahead uh, to the part where I'm kind of casting the spell here, which is right about here. Okay, so right here is where we want to start um, tracking the footage in here, because this is where we want to drop uh, the castle. So motion tracking is basically um, recording the motion of the camera, like the camera shake in my hand, and then you're able to record that motion and then place other subjects, you know, in the, the little box that you've recorded, and then the camera motion will no longer, you know, screw up the uh, the footage as long as you parent them together. It will actually go with the camera, sh the camera shake and the camera motion, and make it look like it's moving in one real scene instead of, you know, integrating fake footage with real footage. You know, you can kind of fool your audience a little bit. So, uh, the first step in motion tracking this would be clicking on the spline tool up here, and you'll kind of start creating your basic shape. So I'm going to click. You you want to click on kind of um, high contrast areas and kind of a, an off color area so it'll kind of recognize it. Um, so let's click on this little water puddle down here and click on the house, kind of the darker roof of the house, maybe the chimney, kind of do something in the sky up here. Now the sky is going to be kind of hard to track but being that we have three or four good, you know, really good track points down here um, with the puddle and the trees and stuff, it shouldn't affect it too bad. And here's a little like, little uh, I guess puddle or something down there. It's kind of high contrast. Uh, okay, we'll just kind of stay with that basic shape. Now, uh, to get rid of this, um, you know, from kind of being connected to your mouse, you just right click and it'll let right go of it. There you go. So it just made your shape. <clears throat> so basically, what you're doing is everything inside of this shape is going to be recording the camera motion and, uh, you know, the shake of the camera so that you can place, um, you know, our Hogwarts castle back there. So go down here and you click the track forwards button it'll say track forwards so you click it and you'll have to wait a little bit you know while it processes through all the footage um, in my opinion uh, mocha is still there even though it's you know it seems like it's going slow it's really going very fast um, for what it's for what it's doing in this short amount of time it's it's processing you know every bit of camera shake frame by frame uh, within this shape so just kinda bear with me here while we uh, track the motion <clears throat> I'm gonna <clears throat> Go ahead and take a sip of my water so I don't annoy you with the, the cough here. <clears throat> right, we'll let it go for maybe 10 more frames just so I can give you a real good example of how it's going to look. Uh, I, you know, I shot this footage in my backyard like six months ago. I don't know why I shot it. I guess I thought it was going to be funny, but it's not at all. So at least, you know, I was able to use it for this tutorial. Uh, so I guess that was. One good thing about it, look at look at that. It's just like I don't know what I'm doing there. <clears throat> Who knows? All right, so uh, I'm obviously surprised that Hogwarts has just appeared in the scene. And da, 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 come on. Okay, we'll say stop it about right there. Okay, so <clears throat> now we uh, we track this data and we want to get uh, this tracking data back into After Effects. So, we come down here, export tracking data, and copy to clipboard, which is basically copying, like a, you know, like a, a control C on a PC, and a command C on a Mac. So then we can go over to After Effects. <clears throat> First thing we're going to do is uh, create a null layer. So go to n layer, new, and null. Okay, now basically what a null is, is kind of like a blank video track where you can paste footage onto. Uh, in this case, we're pasting our tracking data onto. Um, so let's go ahead and turn uh, the castle off for a second. Okay, so you make sure your timeline is the very beginning uh, on the null layer, and then on a Mac, which is what I'm using, I'm gonna press Command V, which is paste, and it just pasted on my tracking data. So if you're using CS5, you'll want to come down here to the transform and click the anchor point off. If you're using CS4, you do not have to do that. Um, <clears throat> okay, so now let's go way over here to the part where I'm casting a little spell. And, oh, here we go, right here. Okay, so we started tracking about right there. So now let's, uh, let's put this, um, the castle up, okay? But you're going to see another problem with the castle. The castle has a very defined straight edge on it. See, it, it does not look real at all going over those trees because it's a very, very defined sharp edge. How do we fix this? Well, I will show you. Turn the castle off again. Let's create another new layer. Let's create 
a solid. Okay, we, I'm just going to name my solid mat. You want to make it comp size, yes. Okay, let's turn the little eye off on the mat so we can see what we're doing. You want to go to the pen tool. And remember, you know, you're just going to have to kind of remember uh, the area that you tracked your footage in, the little shape. So, we, you know, we did it about this big of a shape. So I'm going to start at these little trees and kind of draw uh, this little pen tool in a shape around these trees. It doesn't have to be perfect because at the end of the day, you're going to be feathering this anyway. Feathering just kind of, you know, seals the deal with the audience and kind of makes everyone believe that it was real because it, it basically kind of um, <clears throat> covers up the, the fakeness of it. So you're going to keep drawing this little pen tool around uh, the shape of the house and I'm just gonna come way out here with it and go way on the bottom just so we can get this done quick okay so now we've made our shape alright so shape is done so now the shape is what we're gonna kinda stick our castle um, on top of or no sorry our castle is going um, kinda behind this this shape which is gonna make it uh, behind the trees so what we do is over here we want to make sure our uh, castle is right under the mat layer. And the reason why is because you're going to go to the castle layer here, and in this second box where it says none, you're going to make it an alpha inverted mat. What that does is allows you to do this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't know what I'm doing there. It's kind of a weird sound effect. but um, So what that did is just make it, um, you know, make us have the ability to stick the castle right behind the tree line under the shape that we just drew. So you can see what I was talking about now, how it's kind of ugly, the little shape. So you're going to feather that. So you go to the, to, uh, the mat here, click the little drop it down box, click on mask and press F. It's going to feather the edge, kind of nice. And you can even kind of, you know, uh, work with the shape that you've done. You can change the shape and, and kind of sweeten the deal a little bit with the trees and make it fit a little more. Um, if you want to, you know, it's, it, this is all pretty much uh, the way you would do it. I'm just kind of showing you the basic principles on how to map paint. The rest is up to you and, and you know, your techniques. So that looks decent. Um, you know, I, I would, again, I would spend more time on this uh, if I was actually editing this for a, you know, a project. But this is just a quick YouTube tutorial. Um, so now we've got everything looking good here uh, in a still image standpoint. But when the camera starts moving, we have to make sure this uh, null layer here, this tracking data, does its job. So this little, you know, the, all these little track points here uh, is our tracking data. So we go here to the mat that we just created and we parent it to the null. Then we go to the castle and we parent it to the null. Parenting means they're just kind of all going to conjoin and consolidate into one working, you know, flow. So they will work with the tracking data. So let's see if we did a good job here. There you go. The little, the little bit that we tracked, it worked. So we started tracking about right there and obviously the camera's shaking and the castle is not moving at all and normally you know I would I would put some color correction on the castle because there's obviously sun hitting it and, uh, and it's an overcast day in my backyard so that wouldn't really happen but um, again that's kinda techniques you can use so here is what it looks like tracked right there camera shaking and then not tracked it looks awful it looks completely fake and horrible Unless I was a real wizard and I, you know, made the castle float or something. But uh, anyway, so let me play it just kind of slow motion for you. That's what it would look like. Nice and, you know, tracked and beautiful. And then, uh-oh, not tracked anymore. Really fake, really bad. Obviously a Google image. So now you guys know how to matte paint. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments below. And please subscribe. Thanks very much.